everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i hope you're all okay today it's about one o'clock and i haven't picked up the camera until today um until today yeah does that even make sense i don't know but me and matt are now gonna go for a walk somewhere um and do that and then i've got a few things planned this afternoon i need to clean the carpet and uh pot my plant outside in the garden so we're gonna do that as well so fingers crossed it doesn't rain but yeah that's pretty much all we're gonna do um i had my i had my dermatology appointment today i've just finished five months on roaccutane and this is what my skin is looking like which is pretty good it's cleared up so much and that's pretty much all we went to see my granddad after that and then yeah, I've just been chilling in bed since then because I had a headache. So that's pretty much all. We're going to go out tonight as well if my headache doesn't go. So if not, I might stay at home. But I've just tried on my new workout gear from Next. And it is this like little tie-dye set. So tie-dye bra and then these tie-dye leggings. And I'm doing the Chloe Ting two-week challenge at the moment as well. So more motivating when you have new workout gear i find so yeah really excited about that um but yeah let's just go out and about i'm now gonna repot this from uh this that it came in into this plant pot here and then i'm gonna feed this plant and this one and then also this one with some tomorrow and also the plant that I've got outside the front as well just because they all need feeding as I actually didn't know you needed to do that so yeah and Matt's gonna cut the corners ran out while I was putting the tomorite plant feed on the plants I didn't even notice so unfortunately I don't have any footage of that or picking out some of the mushrooms from the grass etc um, but yeah at least outside's all done and we um, well Matt mainly moved all of the we had some slabs in the corner they probably can't see like along here we had some spare slabs so we've just moved them into the garage as well and looks a lot clearer out there now that they've been moved which is good um but we're not gonna go for a walk now just because i've got a bit of a headache and we are going out tonight so i may have a bath in a minute and start to get ready but i am gonna do the other job which i said i was going to do this week and that is clean the patches on the carpet um where i spilled hot chocolate ages ago and then in the spare room there's a little makeup stain on the carpet as well um so I would do that. I've got this Dr. Beckman carpet stain remover for home, car and upholstery. It eliminates tough stains and odours, includes dried in stains, neutralizers, and pleasant odours, gentle on colours and fibres. I've seen a lot of good stuff about this on YouTube and like TikTok and all the cleaning accounts. So, oh and it's approved 2021 Good Housekeeping Institute. I don't really know what says direction for the first use unscrew the head brush pierce a small hole in the seal about two millimeter di diameter screw the brush head on again take care do not over tighten remove loose dirt and blot up any spills shake bottle and gently squeeze to moisten the brush apply by holding the brush so the brush is flat against the stain and work the formula lightly into the stain do not soak the stain, let the foam do the work. Leave for three minutes, then remove any residues with a damp white cloth. Repeat if necessary. Let's give it a good old whirl then. So this is stain number one. You can't really see it too well on camera because it is quite faded now. But I spilled hot chocolate here, so I'm just 
just want to get that one out and then the makeup stain will be the true tester i feel like but we'll give this one a little while any foam so I'm not sure what it means on the back maybe I should have watched a video on this mm. smells quite nice though I mean I have no idea what's going on to be honest So I've got the stairs soaking at the moment and this is the stone here which actually doesn't look that bad anymore either but we'll try and do this one as well and leave it to, to soak. So now I'm just going ahead with the damp off. it dry with this kitchen roll to be honest i think the stain has gone here um but it's hard to tell at the moment while it's still wet so i'll let you know once it's dried what i think this has actually got rid of the stain in here which is really good and then i've tried to clean out the black mark i don't think i showed you the before on that so yeah i quite like it so far so let me know if I'm doing it wrong or right, because I actually don't know. It's the first time I've used it. Seems okay. I wouldn't say it's like anything miracle, but then there were any small stains that I was removing. So yeah, we'll have to see. But yeah, let me know if I'm using it right or if it works for you and what I need to do with it, please let me know in the comments. And I'm really sorry about this, guys, but as per usual, I forgot to end the vlog and tell you what my thoughts were about the carpet cleaner. It's now been a couple of weeks since I actually filmed this video. Um, and yeah, the stains have stayed, um, no, the stains haven't stayed as in like they've stayed gone, um, and they haven't come back or anything. So I do think it is a good product. Obviously it'd be good to try on something that's a bit more like heavy duty as well. Um, but yeah, really good overall and it has a nice smell as well. So yeah, I'm really liking that product. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to become part of the family. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.